Well, I mean, there's so much we could talk about all these visions that the Lord has given you leading up to the, the COVID um, crisis. But I know you specifically wanted to talk about a March 12th encounter where God began to highlight a, a prophetic dream in five key areas that he was breathing on. And I'll just start with the first one and let you comment. One of the greatest gods in America is being shut down, sports and entertainment. And I guess this was right before COVID had really hit and we started shutting down. Because I know we were in South Africa on March the 12th ministering. And then we got back in before everything actually shut down. Do you remember this? These five points that you were, the Lord yes. told you? Yeah, you know, folks uh, early on were really discouraged, and I just began to pray and ask God for some type of redemptive perspective. And I began to think about what it really takes for awakening and revival and the fact that many of the sports arenas were shut down. There's so much money and focus in America on sports and entertainment that I believe it was a divine reset. I believe we're in a divine reset right now on the earth where God is beginning. You know, you even have, you know, what a joy it's been to work with fathers who are learning to disciple their own children because they can't go to church. You know, many parents, they rely on the kid's pastor, you know, just to disciple their kids. So there's a lot of redemption that's in, in the home, you know, in the sports. Those Even with the schools. Yes. And that was your second point. Yeah, the schools. I believe that God, I believe that we're going to see even a homeschool movement birthed out of this time. I believe the greatest disciplers in America are homeschool moms. So you also mentioned number three, <clears throat> the uh, those these large conferences, which... All of us have been to and we love and they're great, but that God was actually even allowing those to be shut down to do what? Yeah, I, I believe God has shut down a lot of these major events to create an environment in homes, that devotional life, people feeding on the word of God themselves. Yeah. And then number four, you mentioned the stock market. Yes. You know, so we put our trust in mammon, in money so often, and so many are struggling right now. And I think it's a divine opportunity to put our trust back in the Lord. And then the fifth one was prayer and the recognized need for God. And that's why we've done ministry now. We've ministered through this whole epidemic, and it's been amazing how many people have come back to the Lord and how many people have been saved. That's a direct result as well. Yes, God is reviving the church in this hour. My heart is so filled with hope and joy and excitement. The Lord said to me in the time of silence, I'm looking for people that will engage in spiritual violence. And I believe during this quarantine time, God is drawing people to wholehearted obedience and abandonment to his son, Jesus. <laughs> 